So I have came up with three different solutions or methods to fix the lack of a capacitive touch input that is present in many of the current Google Cardboard headsets currently on the market. How these methods work is around Android's ability to use a mouse as a touchscreen input. Well, without further ado, let's see how method 1 works. For method 1, it may require you to purchase an extra piece of hardware, if you don't already have it. You will have to have for yourself one of these Bluetooth game controllers that have a mouse pointer input, but if you do have a Bluetooth mouse, that will also work as well. A game controller such as the VR Park game controller or the B100 remote control. Now keep in mind these are probably not the only ones on the market right now, these are just the ones I have with these functions. First comes up the VR Park game controller, which to activate, you hold the function key and press D. And for the B100, the device has to be off, switch to key mode, and turn it on by holding the function button, followed by holding the start till it turns on, which then both controllers will be in the mouse function mode. After pairing, when we proceed to use the analog, we see that there is now a virtual mouse pointer on our Android device, which you can move around to wherever you'd like and use it to touch the screen. I would highly suggest moving the pointer all the way to the bottom left corner to keep it out of sight. To register a virtual click or touch, you simply click the top shoulder button for the VR Park controller and you press start for the B100. And that's it. This is the cleanest way to get touch input on any headset wirelessly on the cheap using Bluetooth, retailing at 5 to 10 American dollars. Here's some bonus information. You can even use a regular Bluetooth wireless mouse, which after positioning in the bottom left corner, you can place a piece of electrical tape to block the sensor from moving the cursor. Or even one of these Bluetooth Android game controller add-ons such as the iPega 9023, which also has a mouse function. But anyways, that is pretty much it guys for the first method. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You just have to have one of the things that I have listed. Anything that is Bluetooth with a mouse can be used. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe and like for more VR content. And see you guys in the next video. Take care.